the last thing I remembered in the physical was when I was on the bed screaming pain pain with my heart that was the last thing I could remember when I was in the physical and they told me I couldn't and that's when I passed out and I didn't remember anything more in the physical so now from here on is what I discovered or I realized the vision I began to have about the heavenly encounter the last thing I remembered in the physical was when I was screaming pain pain in my heart I then found myself floating in the clouds with a very high speed I was screaming because of how fast I was going through the um, clouds with a very high velocity or very high speed suddenly I arrived at a place like in a garden the garden was very very beautiful I suddenly arrived at a place like in a garden the garden was very very beautiful the garden was filled with beautiful flowers and trees and there was a pavement which I found myself walking on very beautiful garden with flowers and trees and there was a pavement and I started walking on this pavement in this beautiful garden I said to myself where is this beautiful garden located as I was walking in the garden suddenly a being who was very tall appeared before me in the garden I became very afraid because he was very tall very very tall about nine feet tall he appeared to me in the garden and I was very shaking. I was very afraid. He asked me what I was doing here. He was wearing white, he was wearing white garment and was shining. I told him that I was in the hospital and now I found myself in this beautiful place. He introduced himself to me as the, an angel of God he said to me it wasn't a mistake for me to have found myself in this garden he said he was going to hold my hands and show me some some things the angel of the Lord held my hands and we began to head towards another place As the angel of the Lord held my hands and were moving from the garden to the other place, uh, we came across an altar of sacrifice on the way. Then as we moved on further, we saw another altar of sacrifice. Then as we go on, we went on, we saw another altar of sacrifice. Three. On the third altar, I saw blood was all over it. It was also fresh blood. So I asked the angel whether they do kill animals or goats in this place because of the uh, altar and the blood I saw on the altar. I was wondering whether it was a place for the butcher because we, I've seen, I saw three altars and the third one had blood all over it and the blood was so fresh like they just killed a fresh lamp or a goat or an animal on it. I asked him because of the blood I saw on the altar of sacrifice. The angel of the Lord explained to me that the altar of sac sacrifice wasn't meant for animals or goat, but that it was the blood that was shed on Calvary 2,000 years ago, that was what I saw. The blood that was shed on Calvary years ago, that was what 
I saw. Beloved, and when he said this, I wondered because 2,000 years ago blood should have dried up by now. But the kind of blood I saw on the altar of sacrifice was so fresh. It was very, very fresh. As though they just killed the animal or just killed the goat. So I asked him and he said that the blood is still fresh because the blood is still saving or redeeming mankind on earth. So the um, the altar of sacrifice which I saw with blood all over it was the precious blood of Jesus Christ which was shed on Calvary 2,000 years ago. And it was still fresh, still fresh in heaven as though it was just, they just shed the blood of Jesus Christ because the angel explained to me that the precious blood of Jesus Christ is still saving or redeeming mankind even until now. That is the only reason why I saw it to be so fresh because it is still saving because usually when you see when a, a goat or a lamp is killed immediately you shed the blood and air blows on it it dries up but the blood of jesus christ in heaven is so fresh so new even though it has been in existence or it, he has been slain for almost two thousand years ago it is still fresh because it still has the power and it is still saving and redeeming and bringing man to salvation. That's the reason why it is still fresh in heaven. I knew from then that there is indeed an ultimate power on this universe. We have an ultimate or a sovereign power in this world which is above or which exceeds all other powers. Because I knew that ordinary blood, once it is shed and once air blows on it, it dries up or clogs in no time. But the precious blood of Jesus Christ, even though it has been shed 2,000 years ago, is still fresh. It made me know that God is indeed God and God is the all-powerful or has the ultimate power in this world. The angel of the Lord told me to hurry up because I had little time and there was a lot of things he had to show me in heaven. So we moved on. The angel of the Lord brought me to another place and there I saw a very big house which was made with glass. When we entered into the house, I saw a lot of people a lot of people in that place they were all wearing the same dress and they were all wearing white in that place all wearing white clothes these people who i saw who were all wearing the same clothes white were very 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 happy and were very excited they all wore the same dress white and they were very very happy In the same place, I lifted up my head and I saw two thrones or stools. They were both occupied. I asked the angel of the Lord who was sitting on both thrones. He said to me, the first one you see is Abraham. He's the one sitting on that throne. And the second one you see is occupied or is Moses who is also sitting on that stool or throne I asked the angel of the Lord if I was permitted to talk to any of the persons in that place I wanted to talk to the people who were all wearing the same white garment and were very excited happy or joyous he gave me the permission before I did that, I asked him again where this place was or where I found myself, what the place is called. He said, here is paradise. 
He told me the place I found myself was paradise. He said here are uh, for those who died in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the place where their souls come. He told me the place which was made with glass building with people wearing white the same dress and were all happy or excited or joyous it was paradise and it was the place for those who died in christ jesus when they died their souls come to this place so i went on to ask one of the people who I, I went on to ask one of the people. I told him how he managed to come to this place called Paradise. So I went on and I asked one of the people in Paradise. I asked him how he managed to find himself in this beautiful place called Paradise. He said to me that he lived his life for Jesus when he was on earth. All the days of his life, when he was on earth, he lived his life for Jesus Christ. He gave himself to Jesus and also obeyed the commandment of Jesus. He did not deviate from the truth. So when he went on to ask this person in paradise how he got into paradise, the person told him that he lived his life for Jesus Christ all the days of his life on earth. He gave himself to Jesus Christ and also obeyed his commandment and did not deviate from the truth. And so when he died, he found himself in this beautiful place called paradise. Paradise.